Oh, we're burning. Well, I'm glad I brought fire potions. That's all I got to say. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to take on Yagleth. Yes, we are. I've decided to uh, take a break from the building for a bit here, uh, because I know we've had several back-to-back -back building episodes, and it's time to go take out the last boss. So we're going to do some preparation for that, and then uh, do it here in this episode. Uh, so let's see here. What do we want to do first? So I moved my throne back down here. I created uh, myself um, a dragon bed. I'm going to put some banners up around in this room. And the only re this is all temporary. I'm just doing it so that we can get the maximum rested buff uh, for the boss fight. So I gathered a bunch of stuff in my inventory here uh, to make the banners. So we need uh, fine wood, boar hide, uh, or leather scraps or whatever it's called. And then various, you know, things for color. So um, let's just give ourselves a, a full stack of fine wood. And uh, we're, we're going to set up, you know, uh, a maximum rec rested bonus, or at least as high up as we can get it, uh, just for that purpose. And then, you know, all, all these banners and stuff, I'm going to move over to the throne area later on. That is the plan anyways. Okay, so let's go ahead and put banners up. I'm not, you know, because, again, this is temporary, I'm not really too concerned about which one's going where. We're just going to put them up. So we can get the uh, rested bonus that they uh, provide. Nice. Okay. So if we uh, if we sit down here now, it, we're we're at comfort fifteen. So what does that give us for rested bonus? Let's wait for it to kick back in, and then we'll see where that puts us. I don't know what the maximum comfort level is. Uh, I wonder if we put like um, you know, some more sconces down. A twenty-two. Okay, well that's that's what we had before, so that didn't really seem to change anything. We got a sconce there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else what else we're missing. We've got pretty much all the furniture in the area. We got the three rugs, the dragon bed. It may, is that it? Is that the highest comfort level you can get is 15? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm not really sure. But I guess that's uh, that's what we got. All right. So what I want to do is let's go ahead and sleep first, um, you know, so we can get daylight going. We're going to go out to the Yagleth site. I haven't even actually been all the way to the site. I've got a portal near the site, but I haven't been all the way to the site. Let's go kind of look at it and see what's going on. I also need to make some food preparation, too. And I'm I'm thinking we might need uh, we might need to make fire potions. I'm not I know I know that Yagleth does like a laser beam thing and he does a meteorite thing uh, from what people have told me. I haven't seen the fight myself, so this is going to be a blind fight. Um, but we got we learned f where the hell's it at frost. Healing, healing, poison, medium, stamina, minor stamina. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Fire resistance, barley and cloudberries. We learned this, um, you know, when we, I, I guess when we learned barley or whatever. And I'm guessing that we're going to need that for the fight. So we're going to go need to get some barley. Um, and I I went fishing. My daughter uh, joined me on, on my single player game couple nights ago and we we did a bunch of fish and so we got a bunch of fish there that we got to cook up so we can make fish wraps uh we farmed up a bunch of blood bags so we can make a blood pudding and we're gonna have to you know and, and i ha already have some lox meat pie so let's um let's do this let's make one fish wrap that we'll eat when we go out there because you know we will be on the plains uh, and i already have a lox meat pie, and we should have all the ingredients that we need for um, for blood blood pudding, right? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Okay, let's put the strawberries back in here. Oh, I guess I don't have room for it there, so we'll put it there. Okay, so let's see here. I want to put the uh, put the coal and the hide and all that stuff away now because we don't need that for the moment 
And oh, we should make sure all of our stuff is repaired. I was on the multiplayer server the other night. We have a new multiplayer server. So if you guys are a member of the Discord community and you've you know you've been around for a little while and you're active in Discord and, and or active in leaving comments on the YouTube channel and you would like to join us on the multiplayer server, let me know that and uh, we'll see if we can get you set up. Uh, okay, let's see. We don't, I'm going to put these. These are just my hunting arrows here. So let's put those away. And we don't need the fishing pole either. So um, oh, I should have stuck that back there. It doesn't matter where we put it. We'll just put it there. So let's make some um, blood pudding. We're going to need blood bags and thistle. Oh, why in the heck didn't I put that coal away? Dog on it. And barley. So we'll make some of that. Oh, let's make the fish wraps too. Uh, I have to cook the rest of the fish, but I'll do that off camera. I just want to have the good food when we go out to scout the, the place. Make a couple of those for now. Okay, let's put the blood pudding and the thistle back in there. These two things we need to put away. We, we want to bring this with us in case we have to do some ground manipulation. Uh, I don't believe we need... Do we? What, does Yagleth do frost damage? I'm guessing he probably doesn't. Um, let's get the brew stuff going. Oh, wait, I need... I need uh, barley to get the fire potion going, so... Let's just run out to the Plains Farm really quick and just grab a little bit of barley. I'm not going to like harvest the whole thing right now. I'm just going to grab enough to to get that uh, mead potion going. Okay, that's good enough. I'll worry about the rest of this later. I don't know um, it, what and if, you know, what kind of preparation we need to do for Yagleth. In terms of, you know, like pre preparing the ground. Because, you know, we've had to do that for some of the other bosses. Um, okay, yeah. So we got the barley. Let's craft that up. And get that going in the fermenter. Okay. Now, I should have... Um, I have seven stamina potions and four health potions. Um, we might want to get some more health potions going. Uh, so what do we need for that? Medium healing. Is there, is there like a large healing potion? Maybe that hasn't been implemented yet. Honey blood, raspberry dandelion. All right. So blood, dandelion, honey, and raspberries. I don't remember how much it said. So, oh, that's not going to let us do it if we don't have a free slot. Okay, let's make the base for that, and we'll get that fermenting up in the second thingamadoodle. Oh, that can go in there. This can go back in here, and the barley will just stick in there. Okay, I'll cook the fish later because I have to. I have to watch that, so I'm not gonna take time doing that right now. Just put all this other food stuff over here for now. All right, we have all of our tools. Everything is repaired. Let's just put those two things back, and then I think we'll be ready to go. All right, so let's look at the map, and uh, the Yagleth portal is called North One. That's set to the mountain, so we'll put this one as North One. There we go. Um, all right, let's eat our food. So we're at max health and head on through. Yeah, like I said, I haven't even been uh, to the Gagleth site yet. It's just, but it's just right up there. So, all right, let's get, be on our guard for goblins and skeeters, squeedos. There's goblin down. Oh, he's swimming out to sea. Okay, well, whatever. But we're nice and close to the location. Um, I believe, is it? Oh, you know what? I'm not entirely sure I have all the 
all the effigies that we need. I think we need, is it five that we need? Yeah, it's, it looks like it's five. Ah, so this is kind of like the dragon idea where you got to put them on there. Okay. Excuse me. Um. All right. Well, in terms of preparation, well, the first thing we have to do is get rid of that village. <laughs> There's no way we're going to be able to fight, the, fight that Yagli with a goblin village over there. Holy crap. All right. Well, as far as ground prep, though, I mean, I don't know. I'm not I don't know if we need to really do much about that. Um, I'm assuming we can probably hide behind these pillars when he does like the laser beam thing. Maybe I'll bet you he destroys those, though. And if he does like a oh, that's like a hand. Oh, interesting. So if, if he does the meteorite thing, I wonder if we can hide underneath like one of the fingers. But as far as ground clearing, I don't I don't know that we really need to do much of that. I mean, it's not perfectly level, but does that matter a whole lot? Oh, you know where it's going to matter? It's going to matter because we need to be on relatively level ground to fight him. If he's up on an incline, we're not going to be able to hit him very easily. But we might be able to handle that by just kind of staying to this side as best as we can. Um, you know, really anywhere over around on this side, we should be okay. It's this little hump over here that might be an issue. But, you know, like I said, maybe we don't need to go over on this side. I'd rather not do a whole crap ton of terraforming if I don't have to. Yeah, you know what? Let, let's just, I mean, I hope this isn't a mistake, but let's just try and see if we can make this work uh, as is. And then, you know, once we fight him the first time, if we don't succeed, at least I'll I'll know what he does and be better prepared with tactics and know, you know, what we need to do. All right, let's take these guys out. Whoops. Hopefully there's no sh shamans or big boys in this village. It looks to be relatively small. And again, I'm not sure if I have um, all five effigies. I know I have at least four. Let's let them them boys come over here. Oh, okay. So we do have a shaman in there, and we've got a a brute on the other side. a two star oh shit he's gonna be fun to fight these guys are no freaking joke man didn't get a parry off on him there we go all right you did Yeah, you stand there and roar and let me just continue to pick you off here, dumbass. <laughs> um, oh good, shaman's coming out. And he's down. <laughs> Is that everybody? Okay. I don't care about any of that stuff. Uh, we can't take the black metal with us through the portal. I don't think there's anything I have left to make with black metal anyway. So, oh, I will take, I will take the uh, needles. Don't really need flax for anything. We can take barley and money. Okay. 
So we've cleared the village. We've surveyed the site. So I think we're uh, about as prepared as we can be, considering that I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what, if anything else, I should be doing. Um, but here again, we want to kind of avoid this side if we can because of the uneven terrain. But we should be okay fighting him, you know, over on this side here. So basically the water side. I'm guessing. I hope that's not incorrect. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to go back to the base, make up uh, some more food, get fully repaired, and uh, get rested up, all that sort of thing. And then we are going to come back, and we are going to do our first shot at Yaglith. This is going to be a blind boss fight. I don't... Never seen it. Never seen anybody else do it. Just know a couple of things about it, you know, from what people have told me on the multiplayer server, and that's it. So, should be fun. All right, guys. This is it. The moment we've all been waiting for the last boss of Valheim, Yagleth. So, I have fire potions, stamina potions, health potions. I've got five fueling totems. I actually did only have four, so I had to go back out and... um this is the this is Yaglith. And there was another village right over in here, I think it was, uh, that we took out and we killed um a berserker and he dropped a a totem for us. So we got that going. Uh let's see, we got our fully our full rested bonus. Our food is ready to go, so let's pop that now. And um let's do this, man. Let's do this. I'm gonna put actually this in here. I'm using bone mass because, you know, if we're using Frostner on him, that means we have to get in close, which means I'm sure he's going to do physical damage. So that's what I chose um, to use for that. Okay, we got all the totems in place. Um, so, yeah, I guess we're ready to go. I'm going to summon him, um, and then I'll pop the fire potion once the action starts and... Maybe bone mass too. I don't know. Not really sure. But here we go. Yaglith. Let's do it. We want to stay on this side here. Okay, let's go ahead and pop bone mass. Yaglith's twisted soul, something, something, something. Can we get a couple of hits off on him? So he does a little AOE thing. Oh, we're burning. Well, I'm glad I brought fire potions. That's all I got to say. He's a pretty badass looking man. Oh, stamina. Okay, so let's, um, what happens if we, okay, let's just chill for a second. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to take a stamina potion because we need to take advantage of, yeah, Frostner's doing, doing a number on him, man. Holy crap. I'm not even sure. What's he doing? Oh, okay, those must be like the meteorite attacks. Okay, let's pop a health potion just to kind of stay on top of things here. And we gotta mind our stamina too. So, he, he doesn't appear to be doing any physical damage to me at all. So maybe, you know, in, in hindsight, I probably should have... Uh, I should, probably should have done Ek there for the stamina, because I'm running out of stamina here. He raises his hand and 
drops. Okay, so it looks like he's dropping like meteorites or something like that. Okay. Okay, we'll just get our shield up to block the AOE. Okay, we got him down halfway, but holy crap, the stamina, man. Definitely Ecther for this fight next time if I do it again. Okay, so that's the meteors. That's the AOE. So maybe he doesn't do the laser beam thing if you're up close like I'm, I am. Because I haven't seen him shoot any laser beams. So we just got to wait for stamina. Our potion is about ready to... Okay, stamina potion's up. Let's take it. Let's run over here. Well, let's walk over here. Okay, that's the AOE. Our health pot's going to be down in 10 seconds. Okay, shield up for whatever's happening. Okay, let's pop our health potion. And now we don't have any stamina. Lovely. You can't... Oh, our fire pot is uh, still on cooldown. Or no, I guess we have six minutes of it left. Okay, let's shield. Okay, we got some stamina back. Health's not in too bad a shape. Let's keep pounding on this guy. And stamina is out. Just wait for it to come back a little bit. Okay, do a block. That's just the AOE. That doesn't seem to do a serious amount of damage. Okay, probably meteors. Okay. AOE. Stamina potions is 20 seconds out. And you dead. Yaglith is down, ladies and gentlemen. Yaglith is down. Defeated. All right. So, my guess is that I'm going to watch other people do this fight now that I've done it. Um, my guess is that you if you if you try and get it ranged, that's when he does the the laser beams. But I, as you saw through that whole fight, I was on, I was just up in his face the whole time. And, excuse me, I didn't really take enormous amounts of damage. I mean, I took, I took quite a bit of damage, but not enough, like, to, you know, I was never, let me put it this way, I was never really worried about my health throughout that whole fight. Definitely, most definitely, if I do this again, I'm going to do Ichthyr, uh, because stamina was the biggest issue. Um, we had to pop two stam, <coughs> excuse, uh, excuse me, two stam potions, um, and one health potion. Did did we do one or two? I think maybe maybe we did two health potions too. But anyway, yep, that's the Yaglith fight, guys. All right, so we have successfully killed every boss in Valheim, in at least in the current uh, version of the game as it is now. We also killed every boss on the first attempt, which is pretty nice. I'm feeling pretty damn good about that. And we did each one of those bosses blind. So. That uh, that pretty much you know wraps up the the main goals of of this playthrough. That doesn't mean we're done yet though. Um, I have some other things I would like to do. I want to you know finish the build of course. Uh, maybe do some exploring. Particularly like to sail to the end of the world and and just you know just so we can say that we have done that. Um. So yeah. There's so we we do have a couple more episodes um coming up, but. Um, we're probably getting close to the end of the series. Now, um, when Hearth and Home comes out, I, I'm not sure yet at that point if 
I'll start a new series with like a new character or if I'll just do a few more episodes with this character on this save. Uh, we'll have to kind of see, uh, you know, how that goes. But anyways, guys, that's it, man. We did it. We have killed or, and defeated all of the bosses. Let's go back to our base, hang up the head, and uh, get the uh, the power of Yeglith, which I believe is elemental uh, resistances. Okay, here we go. Attach item. Yaglith, resistance versus magic damage and lightning damage. Fire, frost, and lightning. Okay. Very cool. Actually, you know what you could do? If you, if you fight him a second time, you could use his own power against him because you get fire resistance. Huh, cool. All right, look at that, you guys. All five bosses defeated. Ah, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling to accomplish the major goal, you know, of, well, of anything, really, uh, but of the game. And, um, you know, I actually am going to fight Yagrath one more time. I'll probably just do it on the multiplayer server, you know, with my friends and my son and daughter. But uh, I want to do, I, I want to do, <laughs> I do want to fight him one more time just so I can get his head, you know, for the hall, because we are going to need to do that. Or maybe I'll, I'll solo him again using his own power against him. That could be interesting. I wonder if you use that and you also use the barley wine uh, fire resistance potion, if that would stack. Then then you'd really be able to kick his ass without too much trouble. All right, you guys. Well, um, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. This might be a little bit shorter one, but this is a good uh, stopping point. One thing I will show you is that um, I, uh, I changed these uprights here to steel uh, all the way from the ground up and then I just covered those back up with core poles uh, or core wood because um, you know we're going to build out a, a little loft area out here where we're going to set up the bedroom so in terms of the build again um, we got we got to finish the bedroom area in the front of the hall we've got to put a, an actual roof on top of our, our throne room slash tower area we've got to uh, build a corral over here and then tame up some uh, some boars just for the fun of it. No, we don't need to, but we're going to do it for the hell of it. And then probably do a little bit of work over here to, um, you know, basically I, I want to just plant like a little garden, maybe do a little bit nicer landscaping. We want to put a wall around the place and I'm, I want to redo a few things here in the kitchen area too. So that is what's left for the build. Um, one thing I, I have noticed is that my views have started to drop off since I've been doing so much building, and I get that. I, I certainly understand that. Not everybody wants to watch it. So I probably will not do... Uh, I'll probably do a good portion of that stuff off camera and then just, you know, maybe bring you guys back for just, you know, uh, progress updates as opposed to doing full-on build videos. But let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that. Um... You know, those of you who are watching regularly, if you want, if you still want the, the build videos, you know, come and let me know because I will do it for you since you're watching regularly. But if you'd rather, you know, not to see so much build and, you know, some other things, then let me know too. But remember, there's not a lot left to do after we're done with the build. Again, I'd like to sail to the edge of the world. And beyond that, you know, that's there's not really a whole lot more to do. Um, so, yeah, just let me know how you feel in the comments. And with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.